welcome to The Big Red Show. I'm Matt, and um, I'm very excited because I'm here with uh, Lance Winters, who is the owner, the master distiller, um, the raconteur of <laughs> the weirdo, <laughs> the weirdo uh, of the St. George uh, Distillery here in Alameda, California. And talk to us a little bit about the history of this place. I know for the craft, which is fairly recent, this place is actually pretty old. But still doing craft, right? So our, our, our history is that we were started in 1982 by your group, um, often thought of as the godfather of the artisan distillation movement in this country. Uh, he came here with the Ministry of Culture of Germany in the late 70s. Um, had a, his, his goal was to study law at Berkeley, but he fell in love with the produce that was available here. And now we find ourselves applying that same philosophy to everything that we do. We're very, very careful and thorough in our sourcing of raw materials for any of the things that we make. You've got this great lineup of three gins, um, but uh, let's talk a little bit about this new project that you've got, which is an agricole rum. I had played around with rum for a number of years, and uh, I was playing around with it from a very typical traditional standpoint of starting with molasses, bringing that down in strength with water, doing a fermentation of that molasses and then distilling it. And it never really sat the right way with me. It just seemed sort of boring and innocuous. Um, it was clean, it was drinkable, and you could pass it off as a rum, but it didn't have enough going on. So I took a step back and thought about our philosophy as OB distillers. And as an OB distiller, what approach would you take to making a rum? You have to start with the raw material at its most basic state. And for this, it's bringing in fresh sugar cane. When that sugar cane is crushed, the smell that fills the air is this great, glassy, intense aroma. By the time it's done fermenting and you start running it through the still, you get that grass that is coming through. And so what we get is a very earthy style of rum. All right, so let's talk about your terroir gin and talk a little bit about the inspiration for this. This one definitely did come from a place of inspiration and initially it wasn't even going to be a gin. It was really just a distillate of a place. Uh, my son Franklin has been going to summer day camps for years mm -hmm. and one afternoon when I was picking him up the smell of this camp just completely overwhelmed me. Uh, it was pine, it was bay laurel, it was forest floor mulch, it was the sun baking the dirt all these great smells and I thought I would love to distill them. So we went out and started wild foraging for Douglas fir, California bay laurel, coastal sage, wild fennel, distilling those and then distilling those with juniper and then trying to figure out what of the other traditional chin botanicals would help support that idea of terroir. Thank you for hosting us today. And Thank you for being uh, here. On the, on the big red liquor side of things we certainly look forward to Carrying all your gins, obviously, but then also um, some special whiskey projects maybe here in a little bit. So, again, cheers. Cheers. cheers.